Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you think you're too self-involved? Do you have a difficult time deciphering other people's feelings? Are you too attached to the idea of receiving admiration? Sometimes these are actually not an indicator of narcissistic personality disorder, but rather a personal call for help. Are you lonely? Do you think you're coping with loneliness by making yourself the center of the universe? Narcissism and loneliness can go hand in hand, making it hard to differentiate between the two. So let's take a look at five signs you're lonely, not narcissistic. Number one, you try to educate yourself. The fact that you're watching this right now shows your willingness to learn and immerse yourself in this topic. Narcissists, on the other hand, have a sense of entitlement. This means that they won't bother themselves with things that show a hint of imperfection. By continuously reading and exploring different studies, you're showing a penchant for growth, and that's important. It may be that you're just looking for validation from others because you don't have that kind of support in your everyday life. Joining clubs, groups, and organizations about things you're passionate about might help. Number two, you're open to personal growth. Are you willing to talk about your issues? Do you constantly self-reflect? Are you open to the idea of talking with other people about your own flaws? These types of behaviors show you acknowledge your imperfections and are brave enough to face them head on all for the sake of personal progress. Narcissists tend to show haughtiness and arrogance. They most likely are not comfortable with the idea that there is something they need to improve on. Number three, your past relationships ended well. Narcissists are magnets for short-term relationships. Because of their constant need for admiration, most of their relationships end up being one-sided. And when things go wrong, they flee. If you're previous friends, relationships, partners, or acquaintances have nothing or very little bad to say about you, chances are you really aren't a narcissist at all. Maybe the relationship ending was a mutual understanding. You can build sustainable relationships by taking it one at a time, be inquisitive, have genuine curiosity for others, overcome your fear of being rejected, and accept people for who they are. When you're vulnerable enough to open yourself up to someone, they'll see the effort. Number four, your emotions are genuine. Are you able to apologize truthfully? Some people do certain things because social protocol dictates so, not because they feel like they genuinely wanna do it. An example of this is saying sorry. Are you the type of person who says they're sorry because you're genuinely sorry, or do you do it because it just seems like the right thing to do? Narcissists are the type of people who put up an act in order to get what they want. Do you regularly overthink your actions or the words you just said to someone? That just goes to show that you actually care about them and you're afraid to hurt them. What may help constant overthinking is being in touch with supportive friends who encourage you by reminding you of your worth. And number five, you don't feel like you're better than others. Do you have someone you're envious of? Maybe it's their success or popularity. These kinds of thoughts are normal and almost everyone experiences them. It might help as a source of motivation, but not as a way of beating yourself down. Narcissists expect to be recognized as superior, even without accompanying achievements. So if you don't feel like you're on top of everyone without having a valid reason to, then you're probably good to go. It always helps to stay grounded and appreciate your own capabilities and worth, but self-love is really important. If you nurture yourself first, others will see the difference. This can help attract people to you. Over time, you'll start to learn your own boundaries and stay true to yourself instead of fitting to other people's standards. So do you think you're a narcissist or just lonely? What makes you say so? Comment your experiences down below. We enjoy hearing them. Quick note, narcissistic personality disorder is a spectrum disorder. Only a licensed medical professional is qualified to diagnose your disorder. Please like and share this with friends that might find some insight in the video as well. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.